Now, a total change of tack. Over 90,000 patriotic rugby fans are expected to head into Cardiff today ahead of the uh, opening match of the Six Nations, uh, Wales uh, versus Ireland. England also take on Scotland. That, of course, is known as the Calcutta Cup. And uh, Italy take to the pitch uh, for their match against France that have had such a remarkable run in recent times. Now, the on-field action could be clouded, perhaps, a little by a week that has seen allegations of sexism and misogyny uh, and a scandal, indeed, uh, surround the Welsh Rugby Union uh, and, indeed, even the Tom Jones classic, uh, Delilah, being banned from being sung because of the chorus, uh, the chorus here. But with the return uh, of uh, the Gatland, as I'm told he is well known, can Wales do it and beat Ireland, which if you look at the newspapers today, most people seem to be agreed that Ireland is the one uh, to beat in this uh, tournament. Joining me now, I'm delighted to say uh, and to talk about all of that is, uh, um, and all of the Six Nations, is former Welsh international rugby player, uh, Richard Hubbard, and there he is, uh, currently playing for the Dragons. Um, this, I mean, it seems to me that this is the most vexed Six Nations tournament for quite some time, is it not? I mean, most fans seem to think that rugby just gets on with it and it's, it's, it's football that, that has uh, so many hissy fits and the rest of it, but uh, rugby seems to be surrounded in rather a lot of it at the moment. Do you agree? Yeah, it's a little bit of going on at the moment. Uh, uh, in rugby and Wales in general, there's always end, uh, uh, some sort of drama going on in the background. This one seems to be very uh, potent and, and a, a nasty little uh, situation for the WIU. It's also very much about managers, isn't it, with changes and returns of people like Gatland, but also Steve Borthwick uh, giving a couple of big interviews in the newspapers this morning saying uh, that a pretty torrid time that he had as a, as a player really informed his philosophy and his approach uh, as a coach. Do you think that that's a worrying distraction from the players or is it really important to deep down thoughtful fans who's in charge and what these people can really get from the best possible 15 available to them? Yeah, it is a tough one. I think uh, rugby has always been a, a sport that's backed their coaches. Uh, recently, uh, it's turned a little bit and uh, a lot of coaches have been released. Uh, it was a big change for Wales, uh, especially this year. It's a World Cup year, so this Six Nation now goes into a World Cup. So it's really important they got continuity for teams. Uh, and switching your coach is, a, is normally a tough situation. So, but uh, the unions don't do it lightly, and they think it's right, uh, and they've done it. Wales have brought Gats back, who is uh, he's almost like a god in Wales with, with his last tenure. Um, so he's come back to the fill the gap, take and lead us into the World Cup. And we all know in Wales what Gats is about. He's he's massive for us. He's a very simple game plan, and uh, he really gets the boys firing. So it's an exciting time in Wales because uh, see what he can uh, install with us again. England. Uh, Left Eddie Jones go after the autumns. Uh, Steve Borkwit, fantastic coach. He's he's been fantastic wherever he's gone. So it'd be interesting to see if he can do it on the the international stage. The other thing that intrigues me uh, as an observer, whereas obviously it's 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 your uh, it, it's your life's work and and your experience uh, speaks for itself, is that very often if you're watching an absolutely brilliant game of rugby. And hopefully it will be predominantly settled by tries and conversions, which I find intriguing. Uh, but increasingly, it's the tedious penalties and availability of points here and there that can completely shift a game and really take it away from the cut and thrust of the main action. Is the maintenance of discipline within the squad as much to do with the captaincy as it is to the coach? Uh, it's, it's a bit of responsibility on both, to be, be fair. It's the coach who uh, installs that discipline in the team. If he rates it highly, uh, the, the boys are going to rate it highly. The captain's on the field. He's your go-to man between the, the referee and the boys. So, yeah, he should control them. I think, yeah, it's been a lot of penalties and uh, red cards, and especially with the new rule changes and stuff. It's, uh, it's a difficult one. It takes some time to settle down. But... 
the Six Nations, the the, the top tier of, of rugby uh, tournaments, and that's where you get all your best best referees. So hopefully it'll be a, a good tournament with uh, some great officiating and some spectacular rugby to watch. Well, I'm allowed to uh, to say good luck to everybody having a Welsh maternal grandmother, <laughs> an English maternal grandfather, uh, and and uh, a Scottish. Uh, paternal uh, grandfather. So good luck to everybody. Um, it is one of the great games, in my humble opinion, and it is certainly one of the great tournaments. Um, thank you for uh, guiding us through that, Richard Hibbard. Uh, really nice to meet you, and thank you very much indeed for coming on the programme.